the 3D Battles of World Runner. All right, I was actually close with the name. <laughs> it's like we we run and we jump, and that that seems about like the size of it. 87 by SquareSoft, four Square Unix merger. Yeah. The 2D is 3D isn't terrible. Kind of reminds me of that Sega Genesis game. I forget which one it is. Reminds me of a Sonic game a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're supposed to jump, huh? <laughs> Yikes. I mean, supposedly. So, like, Holy shit, I'm <laughs> doing Actually, <laughs> he takes flight when you jump, that's crazy. Those green guys were like the adventures of Lolo. Tune. Space Harrier, that was the Genesis game I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah, this is our like first playthrough, so bear with us here. This is just world- oh, alright, I was gonna say, we're in world 1-1, one, one, but we immediately went to 1-2. There was like no transition there at all. So what do we think? Is this a bad game for the first bad game review? It's hard to tell what it is. I, I don't know if you're winning, if you're losing, if you're just, like, Oof. cruising. It is tough to hit this stuff. I guess the stars are good. You're, you, you progress to the next level, apparently, so you must be winning. The draw distance is like, I mean, it's somewhat bad, but for its time, it's pretty impressive. It gives me enough time to like kind of react. What did this originally release on? Oof! Here you go, your turn. Sure. Well, this is for NES. Well, as far as like, they kind of perfected it with the uh, Space Harrier for Genesis, I would say. Okay. So you can, like, accelerate when you press forward. Yeah. I, I guess I didn't do it, like, good enough, though. <laughs> yeah, when you hit up, you accelerate. When you hit down, you kind of, like, decelerate. And then if you hold jump, you continue to ascend. I mean, if this is an NES game, I'm actually legitimately impressed. Because I would expect this to be more on something like a Genesis. Oh, God. Yeah, you gotta kind of have to, like fire the jump. Huh. It's like a little touchy to that. No, I'm actually kind of impressed with what you did earlier. Like, I'm realizing like how like touchy it is. Yeah, you have to kind of like interp. And holy crap, this dude just he goes into like orbit when you jump. It's kind of nuts. Oh. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of little <laughs> micro taps that are required to kind of get through. Yeah, sometimes you gotta hold, sometimes you gotta micro-tap. I'm a little curious about this world we're in. There are these little, like, eyeball-possessing dots. They're like googly-eyed, like, little balls looking at us. And, I don't nice. know, I'm not sure what's in the background there. Well, at least we're living up to our channel's name. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm <laughs> surprisingly... <laughs> Or maybe unsurprisingly, kind of garbage. Uh, uh, whatever this is, yeah, feel free. Right, we'll see if we can get through at least this. Starting back on one one. Saving an NES. That was always a, a fun experience. A long lot of digits, sixty four. Yeah. Key inputs. I think you showed me a strat, actually. By going horizontal on those skinny ledges, it actually kind of, like... Oof. Yeah, Just you actually seem like you know what you're doing. I... Oof. Immediately got put in my place when I touched the controller. Oh, oh you jinxed me. <laughs> Alright, here's the run, here's the run. We're gonna do it. I 
I feel like this music is just here to like taunt you. It's, it's like happy, but at the same time, it's just it's showing you like where you are in the game. Holy shit! All right, that's one way to do it. There's a Sonic Spinball level. One B. And the music changed too, okay. Oh no. <gasps> so bad. Are you you must be like slowing it down to get those. Yeah. Okay. It, there's like um an internal clock. That's kind of like you're like Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you wanna give it another go or I'll give it one more. Alright, the fact that we keep wanting to continue to play this shows that there's something here. I don't think it's bad. I I mean there's like judging an NES game for like anything more than what it is is not really fair. Like this dude just runs and jumps. That's that's just what he does. That's all he can do. Does he do it bad? I don't know. He seems to do it alright when he's like taken off like that, but it's also a little hard to control. Putting okay. the dots with the eyes. Shredding Shred the needle. Okay. Oh! Oh! Overshot! Right. That's tough. It's actually tough. I don't know if I can give it a fair shake, being as uh, garbage as I am, but like, it is a little, like, enticing to keep playing. It's, we haven't discussed this, this is the first game, but are we doing, like, a S tier rating, like, system, hmm. or numeric? Oh my gosh, I just hit the wrong button. Sick. I don't know if I could give it a number rating, because I haven't, like, Probably played enough of these older games at the moment. Once I get into it, like some more of them, maybe I can give it like a fair shake as like a comparison against it. Oh, this it. is by far B or A tier in the grand scheme of NES. I'm genuinely like impressed with like the 2D is 3D. I didn't even think they could do that on NES. So like, yeah, I mean, it seems like an A tier game for what it is. I forget, was it 87, did it say? Yeah, yeah. I like that there's like these little like side worlds you can go down. Oi, oi. Oh, come on. Like, judging that, that's gonna take some time. Like, this ain't no Contra, but I mean, it, it is definitely better than most. I'm kind of fuzzy on, like, just the general world that he's in, but I don't know if it really matters. I'm intrigued to see what World 2 is. Like, uh, there's definitely a, a fair share of NES games where I could care less what World 2 looks like, so that's... I should probably should have grabbed that. That's like just kind of. I didn't know you could go down these uh, alternate paths more than once. Yeah. And it seems like it's mostly just there to give you some sort of bonus. Like the stars count for some kind of extra points. I, I think it seems that your, your score is going up. So. A little evasion. Jump go. was huge. <laughs> one, two, one, one. Like, this dude is actually flying. Okay. Okay, yeah, that was definitely the strat there. And now you're on World 1 4. Let's do it. Hello? I keep wanting to see those background trees get bigger, and they just never do. Alright. 
much to dodge here. Okay. Some googly eye dudes. I hear low lows. Dude, no big jumps one. either. Mostly Whoa. just the, uh, okay. We got this, we and... got this. Oh shit. Okay, you can attack. This is definitely some space carrier stuff right now. So that just changed the dynamic of the game, like, entirely. Ow. Got him. So that's interesting. Oh. Good fucking job. Here, I'll, you'll get World 2. We've been playing this for over 10 minutes, just a heads up, so... Let's listen to that music. Same music, that's kind of a buzzkill. Yeah, yeah. The uh, change up in the scenery is a welcome though. Uh, oh, okay. Um, so I wanted those stars, but that's, that's okay. I'm not sure if they're ammo or if it's just for high score purposes. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I hit a googly eye, dude. That was a little strange. To be determined, but I'm gonna give this a B plus. Yeah, I mean that sounds fair to me. Not such a bad game. I'm kind of curious how long it goes. If it's it, a uh, made it to World Two, but there's a uh, there's no way I would be able to get past it. You're better at it than I am. Yeah, it's all good. I think this is a pretty good game. Yeah. First bad game review is not so bad. I thought it was genuinely uh, interesting. Well, Kinda cool. Hopefully you guys like the channel. We're going to cut this up into a short for you and continue playing through all of all of this stuff. More pixels on screens to come. Goodbye.